Welcome back, YouTube. It's the Spaceman landing in your area once again. And if you look around you, you'll see a bit of a theme going on here. You see some frogs. That's what's been going on the last few days. It's McClelland Craftsbury Series Madness. Um, Frog Morton Pipe Tobacco. More Frog Morton pipe tobacco. Frog Morton on the bayou. This morning, well, actually, not this morning. It was almost, well, 11 30, close to noon. Good thing I checked my email. I decided to just pop in and check my email, and there it was. A good old notification product back in stock. From smoking pipes, click on it. We've got Frog Morton Cellar. So I rushed over there as fast as I could. I mean, I just went out there and just got on the site and just I said, man, how many? I'm gonna I'm gonna get four tins. So I got four tins, four hundred gram tins of Frog Morton. I wish I could have got more, but I don't. Unfortunately, I don't have the funds to get more. And I also. Uh, Went right to, since I was busy, and I had to get somewhere anyway. And I figured I'd go to Sergeant Savinelli's uh, video, latest video, that he just posted. And I saw where, I guess he had just posted it. And it was uh, that morning, this morning. And I just uh, left on there, and I figured the people who already commented would see it too. And I says, uh, they probably already had signed up for notifications, but I said, if you, hey, Sarge, you get over to Smoking Pipes right now, you can get yourself some Frog Morton, because I know he didn't have any, and I felt kind of bad for the guy. I almost wanted to send him some of mine, and I'm kind of like, you know, really short on it, but... So now I'm going to have like, you know, four of these, so, plus the... Uh, jar I already have jarred up it's two years old and it's pretty full it's a 1.75 ounce uh, jar two ounce mason jar it comes in uh, what is this uh, 50 grams which is um, I guess 1.75 ounces um, anyway 1.76 ounces to be precise so that being said I am going to croak on over here onto my right side where there's a stack of boxes and I have a little yabo. Um, and you can guess what some of that yabo is, okay? Well, it's not the seller yet because I just ordered the seller today. So, What it is, is a bunch of stuff plus that. So my first box is from uh, Smoking Pipes. So let's get that one open. So this Frog Morton thing is crazy. It's really, uh, I mean, this guy is now being... Um, referred to as America's finest tobacco blender. Now if you go to a video um, by the Country Squire tobacconist, um, I think it was the latest tobacco uh, podcast or whatever, you will find uh, some more information about that. So okay, here we have uh, more Frog Morton pipe tobacco frog on the log which is by the way excellent stuff 
I mean, I'm just so happy I got it because I really like it. And um, this is for a friend of mine. This is a, uh, a pipe tamper. And I'm going to bring that and give that to a friend of mine. Which reminds me, in April I will be announcing my giveaway. So it will be for, train, for the train guys. I'll be giving something out, a contest, and for the um, pipe people. So look for that coming up. Probably the end of March I'll be announcing it. And I'm um, getting together what I want to do. So anyway, you know, getting back to the Frog Morton thing. If you go to Country Squire Tobacconist's latest video, or now they might have one since then, and watch the video, they actually will refer you to tobaccos that are blended by the um, Country Squire Tobacconist, which are very close to and almost matching according to their, you know, opinion on this, uh, almost matching the um, Frogmorton Cellar blend. And one of them is called Shepherd's Pie. So, for those of you who don't have the cellar, Maybe you can pick yourself up some of that. So what do I got here? More Dunhill. Got London Mixture. And an old favorite of mine, Nightcap. Whenever I can, I get a tin of Nightcap. Because I don't really know if anybody's going to pick up the, um, the licenses for um, Dunhill. I do know from what I understand that uh, Mike McNeil does not want the license for his tobacco to be bought from somebody else. He doesn't want anybody else uh, producing his tobacco because he said he's the only one who can do what he does. And I respect that and I agree with that. So we all need to let go of that and just hold on to what tobacco we do have and the memories. And if you don't have the tobacco, maybe you can still find some. There's still shipments being made to different uh, online vendors, so. You may very well find yourself some, but you're not probably not going to find uh, across the pond. I have one small 10, 50 gram tin, which I don't want to part with. I've never opened yet, and that'll be it for me, so. Unless somebody restocks, but I doubt it. That's pretty much done. So here I have my last box, the biggest, save the biggest for last. It's from Pipes and Cigars. Looks like a big tobacco order, doesn't it? It's not really. You'll see why the box is big. Um, so, Country Squire Tobacconist, um, and they have a, a very interesting uh, website. And um, let's see what we got. And they seem like they have a lot of great tobaccos. Okay. And here's the big guy. This is what made the box so big. I ordered myself a 12 ounce can of velvet since I liked it so much and I ran out of it. And um, so now I got myself a nice little tin. And I'm going to, when I eventually open this, I'll empty it into a mason jar. And our two mason jars, pray, and I'll keep this tin for posterity. Would that be the correct word? Um, over here we have a couple of tins of, uh, two more tins of Black House, which I pretty much am well stocked up on this by now. So I'm getting to the point where it's kind of like I will probably from here on out just get one tin a month of the certain blends that I really want. And that'll be it for that. Um, I have a little interesting item I ordered here. You can see there it's a uh, cigar punch. And it's, it's really cool. It's a cigar punch tool. And uh, it's made like a cigar. You see that? 
Is that cool looking or what? And it comes off at the end of it. And it has a little cigar punch. Neat, huh? I think it was $7. And it has a little keychain on it. Um, I won't put it in my pocket because my pocket key and contents will destroy it. So I'll uh, probably just carry it on my uh, belt or figure out a way to do it that way. Got a couple of uh, Captain Black pouches. Cherry and gold. And you can smell the cherry right through there. Mm. Good stuff. And last but not least, you guessed it. You know what it is. These guys here. Enough to make 50 stick men. No. <laughs> we used to play with these in school and, uh, hey, pipe cleaners. Never really even thought of what they actually were. When they used to say it in art class, pipe cleaners, I thought of a pipe, like a regular pipe, not a smoking pipe. And look at this. What do you know? Five dollars promo cash. It's nice. I'll take that card off of there and I'll hang that on my wall. I like that. Wow. So that's it, man. And uh, that'll do it for my Yabo. And uh, I wish all you guys good luck with your uh, Frog Morton journeys. Um, hopefully, you'll find the blend you want. Whether it be on the bayou, just the cellar, Frog Morton cellar, or the uh, regular frog on the log. Um, there's a site that I wanted to mention to you, and it's, um, I think it's called the Tin Store, the Tin Store, I think. I might have that wrong. Um, but if you go to the Country Squire Tobacconist, they've mentioned this place. And you can uh, subscribe to this place. And it's either the, the tin site or the tin store, one or the other. And it's $25 a month. And they send you a bunch of samples of different pipe tobaccos that you can try out, just small amounts. And um, I thought that was kind of interesting. And... I might actually consider doing something like that, subscribing later on when I have the funds. I don't have the funds right now, but... Anyway, I'm enjoying some... You guessed it. Frog Morton. Frog on a log in my... 7 Ellie Roma 620. And a cup of coffee, so. I'll talk to you on the next video. Happy frog hunting. And uh, catch you all later. <laughs>